Alright, NRL Vid, zero nine zero, back with another video today, and this is my thoughts on the debut of Young West Tigers center uh, winger Zach Zini. So, Zach Zini had a very good debut. I thought he was really impressive, and um, you know the reason why he made his debut t debut today was because James Roberts was out. I think it was with injury or something. I'm not sure, but as far as I know, James Roberts was out, so that's why Zach Zini in jersey twenty four's late inclusion uh, in the centers today. And I tell you what, he had a really good debut. Zach Sini actually really impressed for mine. He was um very good because I heard that he was very good for the uh, Western Suburbs in the New South Wales Cup, which is West Tigers Fear Club and Reserve Grade. And I heard that he was killing it down there, and all the Tigers fans wanted to see him get the opportunity in first grade, which he did, and he took it very well in first grade. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to congratulate Zach Sini on making a successful and good NRL debut. Uh, yeah, let's hope it's the first game many for Zach Sini. But, um, you know, <clears throat> at the start of the game, I thought he did really well. He made some great, you know, try-saving tackles. I mean, there was one point where Billy Burns from the Dragons made, like, a line break and should have scored. But then, one-on-one, -on -one, Zach Sini uh, tackled him around the waist and uh, just held him up over the, over the try line. <clears throat> and, I thought that, and I thought that was really big, big play there by Zach Sini to hold him up. And then, yeah, there was other times where he made some uh, line breaks. Like, there was a time where I think Adam Dewey did a nice cutout pass and, or, like, a nice long ball to Zach Sini. And Zach Sini made, like, a nice line break in the first half and got Tigers a couple of metres. Um, and, you know, he was good. He was everywhere tonight, today. He, um, you know, played really well, uh, did his job. And um, I, I don't think um, we should see him going going back to reserve grade anytime soon because I think he's actually – I think he's definitely got to – Got a bit of first grade about him. I think he definitely should be in the team somewhere. Um, I mean, whether that's on the wing when, until James Roberts gets back, I'm not sure, but I reckon he has to be there somewhere. But anyway, um, after after you know his great first half of footy he he had, um, there was a, there was a time where Zach Sini had the ball and um, oh no, actually Luke Brooks did like a kick in the a kick, kick kick in the air on the last tackle in the second half. And then, um, and like on the way down, Joey Lelua caught the ball, uh, like in the air. But apparently, he knocked on uh, Joey Lelua because they had to call it back. Because originally, Zach Sini might have got, got his first try and debut. Um, you know, he was celebrating his whole mates and whole family were just celebrating in the Wollongong uh, Wind Stadium grandstand. It was just so good to see. And um, well, no, got got called back the tries, so that's to the referee took it off him. So that was very disappointing for Zach Sini. But I'll tell you what, a couple a couple minutes later, Zach Sini again gets a try. So after being disallowed one try after the Joe Lelua knock on and you know fumble, uh, a couple minutes later, Zach Sini scores a nice try from the scrum. So it went from you know Adam Dewey with a nice long ball to Dane Laurie. Dane Laurie just does a good cutout pass. And it beats Matt Fiaghi from the Dragons, and um, yeah, Zach Sini's over on the winger on the wing side, and um, and then again, the whole fan base of Zach Sini goes up in the uh, Winter Stadium grandstand, and just starts celebrating like crazy. Um, so yeah, look, Tigers obviously won today, so sixteen to eight, very good um, game by Tigers, and um, I'm sure that they responded after you know the last couple of weeks of losses, but yeah, I like to say congratulations to Zach Sini. Hopefully, it's the first game of many for him in first grade. And um, not very, very impressive debut. I mean, I haven't really seen, like, to be fair, I haven't really seen many fantastic debutants so far this year, apart from a couple. But I think Zach Sini is one of the best uh, debutants so far this year, in my opinion, if not the best, because he had a really good game. But, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, what are your thoughts on the debut of Zach Sini? Make sure you do like the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And make sure you do comment your thoughts and feedback on the video. And I will catch you in the next one.